Welcome back. One of the things that my child loves to do, no matter where we go, is get himself soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a kid thing in the hot weather that we have this week and all through the summer. It just it just makes the environment so much better when your kid comes home, just always dread. <laughs> hey, we have Deborah Stump from SuperMom360.com coming in here with some organized play for children because it just usually ends up being a free for all at my Let's house. Let's hope it's organized, right? <laughs> we'll see, we will see over here. We'll see if we stay dry. That's my hope is yes. that you and I stay, stay dry, dry. this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been so hot outside, and you know sometimes we don't have a pool in the backyard. I don't have a pool in my home. So what are some fun things that the kids can do that don't really cost much of anything at all and Perfect. you can get them out in the backyard. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what the kids are doing. Yeah. Right we so have these, Morgan, Dylan, and Addison <laughs> who are having a lot of fun. These are super sponge soakers. We actually made these at home. So we just took three are sponges. Are one of you going to end up in time out before this segment's <laughs> yeah. over? I'm hoping so, Whoa. actually. So these you can make at home. Three sponges, tie them together. And then you've got your great little water toys that you can just dip okay, in water. Okay, Dylan, bring yours over here real quick. Morgan, bring <laughs> yeah, yours. Let's see what we have here. Yeah. So, so you just, what'd you do? Cut them into strips and okay. then tie them just with some simple um, curling ribbon. And you've got yourself a little super sponge soaker. Okay, and they're playing so nicely with them all. Because <laughs> 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 Listen, I grew up with an older brother. Um, <laughs> yeah. Somebody would have been crying all this far into the game exactly, already. Exactly. Okay, tube toss. What's the tube, tube toss? Tube toss. All right, Morgan, let's show them some tube toss. And boys, if you can get ready over here. So tube toss. You don't even have to have a pool, although if you have one, you can certainly float this in the pool. You're but set your a line. So, nice on television, <laughs> I must say. so you just try to toss those little water bombs right in there, and you can even use those super sponge soakers to toss in there as okay, well. Okay, you just make a fun game out of it. Yep. Okay, boys, what are you doing? They are doing the sponge bath, and this is a tried and true, right? We probably even played this when we were kids. Yes. So you have one bucket filled with water, you fill it up with the sponge, and you try to get all the water into the second oh, bucket. I like that one. And if you happen to get soaking wet in the meantime, so be it. Nice and cool for the kids. Perfect. Okay, then squirt tag. Squirt. Oh my gosh, this is where it can get a little dangerous. All okay. right, guys, grab your squirt bottles. So this one, of course, tag is Look a. Look at Morgan's face. <laughs> she's like, she's I'm so happy. Get you. Yeah. <laughs> she's so happy to be. Watch out! Watch out! Okay, this one's getting dangerous. But yeah, so squirt tag, and of course, when you have a lot more space, the last one to get tagged with water, of course, is the winner. And okay. you get lots of great exercise, and they get drenched in the meantime. Yeah, something about everyone being soaking wet makes everyone so happy until <laughs> someone's the crying. The smiles on their faces. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, beach volleyball ball. Yes. Okay, Dylan and Morgan, why don't we demonstrate the if we can put down the squirt bottles. Uh, boys? <laughs> no, I can't handle this. Boys? Boys? <laughs> exactly. You're an expert in this, Heather. <laughs> All right. So we, we've got, so just grab yourself a beach ball. Once again, you can do this in the pool okay. or just in the backyard. You can turn the sprinklers on, whatever works for you. And then um, just toss that ball back and forth and see how many times you can rally back. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, look at nice. that. Nice. Volleyball nice. player. <laughs> okay, the Addison's over there with, with bubbles. So this is a great craft. You can actually make your own little bubble wands, bright and colorful out of pipe Addison, cleaners. Bring that over here. Let's check that out. You want to bring it over here, Ben? Let's see what sure. you got. <laughs> Addison's on his way oh, over. He's got the, the bubbles homemade. and the whole thing. Look at that. Very good. Nice. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, so we just put some um, bubbles in there. We made some little bubble wands, so it keeps them busy getting those wands Let me made. Try this. <laughs> Without getting it on your outfit. Oh, we oh, knew this listen. was going to happen, <laughs> children. Listen. Oh, not a very good bubble blower. I think Addison had it down pretty good. And then we make those out of pipe cleaners, so that's so easy. Make we can those do that out of pipe cleaners. But I think, you know, just definitely showing you don't have to have anything extravagant in your backyard. All of these things we just either had around the house and keep them nice and cool during the summer. Perfect. Hey, you kids were relatively well behaved. <laughs> I give you a B plus. A B plus. I give you a B plus. Better than I was expecting, Heather, so I'll take the B plus. No, they did a great job. Thanks again so much You're for coming welcome. in. We certainly do appreciate it. Uh, right after the break, we're going to check in with the Animal House and see who Darlene's brought in today. We're coming right back. And you didn't even get me well. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you. So relieved. <laughs> <laughs>